Welcome back to Old School Sports and our playthrough of Tennis Manager 2021. We are at the start of the summer hard court season. Uh, Stefan Kozlov, the top player in our academy, uh, has suffered a serious injury that is now only a moderate injury. Uh, he's ranked 51st in the world, but that's going to keep him out of action for the next several weeks, unfortunately. So no opportunity for him to be uh, improving his uh, status in the world. Uh, Zachary Spida, however, uh, is healthy and ready to go, ranked 237th in the world. Uh, the goal for him this year was just to get into the top 400. So he is rocketing up the charts under our management and doing a uh, great job on the court. He's uh, won six events already this season. You can see 110 level event and 520 level events, um, but has had a fantastic run for us uh, playing at a bit higher level, uh, ATP Pro 80 level event uh, this week in the Gatineau Open, while Stefan will be back at the academy uh, trying to rehab his injury and hopefully uh, Stefan will be back in time to do some damage in the U.S. Open in about a month and a half. And Zach Spida has had a brilliant run to the finals of the Gatineau Open 80-level uh, event. Um, Going to be huge for him, uh, win or lose. Obviously, the hope would be to get the win, but if we look at our agreements with... Um, Zach heading into this season, his goal was just to reach the semifinals of a uh, 125 to 80 level event. So the fact that he's made it to the finals of the Gatineau Open will ensure that uh, he has achieved all of his goals for the season, which will be great. So we are going to attend the match and coach him instead of his regular coach, see if we can get a victory for uh, Zach Svida in the finals. And you can see here it's been a bit of a surprising run for Zachary Svida. Upset the fifth seed, uh, Alexander Vukic in the quarters, uh, Naoki Taima in the semifinal, or Tajima in the semifinal, and now he's facing Shintaro Mochizuki, uh, the fourth seed here in the finals uh, here in Canada. And uh, Zach is the 11th seed in this tournament, ranked 236th in the world. And the action is underway here in the finals of the Gatineau Open. Zach Svida against Shintaro Mochizuki. And we are already down an early break, unfortunately. But we did break back and then immediately got broken again. Boy, they are not doing well on their serves in this set. But finally a late break from Svida to get the first set 6-4, so just one set away from the first victory at an 80 level event in uh, Zach Spida's career. Let's see if he can get over the hump. Early break for Spida here in the second set. Hopefully he can hold serve and close things out. And he does a 6-4, 6-3 victory for Zachary Spida at the Gatineau Open. The first 80-level event victory of Zach's career uh, guarantees that uh, he will be staying with us at the end of this season unless something wacky happens, given that uh, he has now easily achieved all of his goals for his first year in his collaboration with the Old School Sports Tennis Academy. So even though Stefan Kozlov is banged up right now, uh, great to see Zach continue the uh, fantastic uh, first season he's had with our academy and we do have some good news and Stefan Kozlov has now recovered from their injury uh, so that is positive uh, the bad news is that with the way the kind of um, not incredibly uh, sophisticated AI works here in tennis manager 21 even though he's recovered from his injury um, his registration several weeks out into the future for the Vancouver Open in week 33 was declined because he was injured at the time. Um, seems like a kind of obvious bug that they should try to fix. Um, but what that essentially means is that, you know, he's been forced to play in the Grand B Open this week, even though he wasn't completely healthy. And now he's going to be off for the next three weeks. Um, 
even though he will be completely healthy for most of this time period. So hopefully that's something they can fix. Um, basically just means that uh going to have lots of time to train and get ready and then hopefully do well in the 250 level Winston-Salem Open, followed by the U.S. Open. Um, definitely will have a lot of time to do some intensive training with Zach to get ready for those tournaments, or with um, Stefan to get ready for those tournaments since uh, he won't be able to play because of the wonky AI. And the initial recovery from Stefan's injury has gone really well. Uh, he's made it to the final here at the Granby Open 90 level event where he was the number one seed against Mark Pullmans from Australia here in the finals. So uh, hopefully we can get a win for Stefan before uh, he's back at the academy training for the next three weeks. You may remember that uh, Stefan won... Uh, higher level event for the first time in his career at the 125 level uh, back uh, about a month, month and a half ago. Um, he has not won at this 90 level event uh, either in the past, so a uh, win at a 90 level would still be um, real positive for Stefan as we try to get into the top 50 in the world. And he is up uh, two early breaks here on Pullman's here in the first set, so a uh, great start by Stefan, wins the first set 6-2 in the finals here at the Grand B Open. Hopefully he can keep the momentum going here in the second set and get the tournament victory. And we are up an early break here in the second set. Up two breaks now. Hopefully uh, Stefan can just uh, run this one out. A great victory for Stefan Kozlov, 6-2-6-2, wins the 90-level Granby Open in Canada. That will definitely help make up a little bit for missing out on the next few weeks of action since he's recovered from his injury, but the scheduling didn't work out. Uh, hopefully he can go back to the academy. We'll work him hard for a couple weeks, then taper a bit as we get ready for the Winston-Salem Open as well as the U.S. Open. Stefan thrilled with the results. Uh, agree deserved result great job there Stefan and um, Zach Svida also won this week in an 80 level event so two consecutive 80 level victories for Zach Svida who is also rocketing up the rankings for us so um, fantastic week for the old school sports tennis academy with Zach Svida winning uh, the title list at the ATP Pro 80 level and Stefan Kozlov, the titleist at the ATP Pro 90 level event Granby Open. And we've got a good test of the uh, potential frustration with the AI coming up because uh, Stefan just suffered a moderate injury during training, going to be out for 7 to 12 days. Uh, it says our assistant is going to unregister them from all tournaments that they were scheduled to attend. If this ends up meaning that, you know, they cancel the um, registration for the U.S. Open because of a minor injury that he's going to be um, taken care of in short order. You can see he's in rehab now. He's got a whole nother week after this and then another week after this. If um, because he's dinged up a little bit in this time, he gets deregistered from the U.S. Open. I'm going to lose it. Because you can see we've gotten up to 44th in the world after that title at the Granby Open. Things are going really well. Uh, but we can't afford to not have uh, Zach play or Stefan playing in one of the majors. So hopefully the uh, tennis manager uh, programming will not uh, cause us to have a, a great deal of anger over that going forward. Uh, other than that, both guys are at the academy this week after uh, coming off of those titles. So Zach is also going to be training there, uh, hopefully getting ready for a, a nice run through the end of summer. Well, hopefully some good news in that Stefan's injury is now considered minor, so hopefully that means they won't end up canceling him out of the uh, registration for the U.S. Open, but we will uh, find that out shortly. All right, good news in that Stefan has recovered from his injury and his registration for the U.S. Open has been accepted. Um, I am a little worried that if it lingered a few more days there, it might not have happened, which would have driven me nuts, but... Um, 
Stefan is into the main draw for the U.S. Open, and uh, Zach Svida has been accepted into qualifying for the U.S. Open also. So uh, hopefully with the old school sports tennis academy players can do some damage over the uh, next several weeks. And it's time to start registering um, both Stefan Kozlov and Zach Svida for the indoor season. Um, thinking about Zach Svida, um, it's been a fantastic year for him. Um, looking at the contracts we have with him, goal was to get into the top 400. Goal was to reach a semis of a 80 to 125 level event. And goal was to improve his national ranking. So he has met 100% of his goals. And he's currently ranked 118th in the world. Um, I actually think our plan for kind of the indoor season during the fall with Zach is going to be to spend a lot more time in training and kind of improving his abilities. If he slips back in the rankings because he's not playing a lot of tournaments, that's actually kind of fine. We'll have met all of his goals for the season. Um, almost getting him ranked too high could be a, a little difficult. You know, if we get him, you know, keep winning some tournaments and we get to, say, 78th in the world or something by the end of the year, you know, he may want to get into the top 60 next season, which could be um, pretty ambitious given that there are still some, um, you know, holes in his game, um, you know, particularly with his serve power to be playing at the highest level. So I think our goal with him is to have a little bit of tournament action in the fall and a lot of time back at the academy sharpening his skills and getting ready for the 2025 season. Uh, Stefan Kozlov is a different situation. Uh, goal was to get into the top 50 in the world, which we are right now. Um, other goals were to reach the round of 32 in a Grand Slam and the round of 16 in a Masters 1000 level event. So um, hopefully we can keep him in the top 50. He's ranked 48th right now, so um, no guarantee that we achieve that goal. Obviously, we need to um, kind of maintain that ranking to hopefully can have him continue on with the academy next year uh last grand slam is coming up a couple weeks in the u.s open so we're gonna have to win two matches there to achieve that goal and then we will sign him up or play in qualifying for any masters 1000 level events that there are down the stretch of the season um i think the thought with him is sign up for the masters events and try to hopefully um reach the round of 16 to achieve that goal which will also be good for his ranking and then other than that probably try to play in some 90 100 125 level tournaments hopefully get another victory at that level which should be enough to um, hopefully ensure that he finishes the year in the top 50. So that's kind of the um, broad plan for us is we're going to be doing our tournament registrations for for both of the players for the upcoming indoor season. And after some real good weeks during this summer hardcourt season, uh, tough results for the crew this week. Uh, Stefan Kozlov lost in the first round at the Winston-Salem Op Open, a 250-level event. And Zach Svida uh, won his first round match in U.S. Open qualifying, but then lost in the second round of qualifying. So uh, Stefan will be in the U.S. Open next week, uh, but unfortunately Zach will not. And we are at New York, or in New York, for the U.S. Open with Stefan Kozlov. Uh, haven't managed his physical condition perfectly, is that in that unfortunately he's tired um, and only in good shape as the U.S. Open begins. Uh, obviously the injuries have kind of kept him from training as heavily uh, as we would probably be optimal. Um, but it is what it is. We are on to our first round match with uh, Matteo Berrettini. Let's see what the draw looks like for Stefan. And Berrettini, the seventh seed in the tournament, ninth ranked player in the world. So a uh, very difficult first round match here for Stefan Kozlov at the final Grand Slam of the season. Uh, you may remember we lost in the first round of both the Australian and French Open this year. Did get to the second round of Wimbledon, where unfortunately we had to pull out in the fourth set with that uh, shoulder injury that has impacted us a bit over the last couple of months. So a tough matchup for Stefan Kozlov, but let's see what he can do 
in this big match against the 28-year-old Italian ranked ninth in the world. Two of them have never played before. Stefan is pumped for the opportunity. Let's see what we can do here and whether we can shock the tennis world with an upset of a top 10 player here in New York. And Stefan is up an early break on Berrettini, but has been broken back, unfortunately. And now we are down a break. So uh, that happened real quickly. Got away from us. Uh, lose the first set 6-3. So uh, hopefully we can have a more productive second set. That being up that first break gave us, um, gave us a bit of confidence, but it turned around quickly, unfortunately. And we're now down a break here in the second set already. Stefan did break back late in, late in the set, and then he got broken again, unfortunately. So not an uh, optimal situation to be down two sets to zero uh, in the best of five U.S. Open first round match up here against Berrettini. Let's see what Stefan can do. It would be an epic comeback if he's able to bounce back from this deficit. And we are now down a break here in the third set. And uh, tough U.S. Open for Stefan Kozlov. Loses 3-6-5-7-2-6 to the seventh seed in the tournament, Matteo Berrettini. So a somewhat unproductive uh, summer hardcourt season is going to be coming to an end shortly for um, Stefan Kozlov. Did get the big tournament win, which was great, uh, but other than that, just didn't get a lot of action on the court, unfortunately. And we've now made it to the end of the summer hardcourt season. Uh, you can see Stefan Kozlov, um, very mixed results for him. Um, Five out of eight matches won, five and three record in four tournaments. So he had the one tournament win, and then he got bounced in the first round at the other three events that he played. Uh, did let him move up from 51st to 49th in the world. Uh, need to maintain that top 50 position in the world to uh, meet his goals for this season. So uh, going to be some tension with Stefan over these final couple months of the season as we head into the indoor court season. Hopefully we can keep him in the top 50 in the world. Zach Svida, on the other hand, uh, another great performance from him. 17-2 record in his five tournaments. Won the two 80-level um, events that he played in, and then he also won a 20-level event. So he has rocketed up the rankings, uh, moved from 236th in the world to 125th in the world uh, over the past few months. You'll recall that when he first joined our academy less than a year ago, he was ranked um, well outside of the top 400, and his goal this year was just to get into the top 400. So he has had a fantastic run with us. Uh, hopefully can continue that over the end of the season, although I mentioned uh, his tournament workload we're going to turn down a little bit and just spend more time working at the academy on his skills. Uh, Stefan going to try to get into some Masters 1000 level events to hopefully be able to um, pick up some points on that front to help his ranking. And if everything goes well, get into the round of 16 at one of those tournaments, which would achieve another one of the goals that he had for this season. So as we head into the fall and we head into the indoor court season, um, pre 100% confident that Zach Svida will be back with the Academy next year. Uh, still have a little work to do to ensure that Stefan is in the top 50 of the world and that he's satisfied with our collaboration. So that's what we'll be focusing on next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day.